So with NTD Snapcore first, you have the ability um, to have bilingual versions. And so this is how you would set that up. So let's say you press on the app and you are ready to set something up. So you would go to new user getting started and you would name it. And I always do need text support with symbol supports for our age group, unless unless there's something else going on, but usually I do that for our age. Um, touch, unless told otherwise, is the access method or how they're going to access the device. And so for this one, we're going to click core first. And so you'll see here, this is the important piece. Um, you'll see United States just means it's English only. Scanning is an access method. So if the system is going to scan through and use separate button to access the words and choose. Um, then you have English Spanish bilingual and you have English French bilingual and this is Canadian French. I haven't used the Canadian French one yet but I have used the English Spanish bilingual and what's nice is they set it all up for you and they give you multiple um, grid sizes or buttons per page options which is really nice so it makes it robust. So what I'm going to do is choose English Spanish bilingual and press the next arrow. So you'll see voices. What I'm going to do is just pick um, a random voice right now because I'm going to go in and show you how to choose a voice for your English side and a voice for your Spanish speaking side so they have the correct pronunciation. So right now I'm just going to choose Emilio and I'm going to press the arrow to go next. So again, what's really nice is you have um, an option of grid size. I'm going to go and try the six by six and see how that works. I'm going to click done. It's going to set me up. And so again, you might have gotten stopped um, at the part where it says log in. Again, you don't have to log in um, right away. You do eventually want to have a login. Uh, you access the login in the same way that I would. I would continue on, set up the device, and um, use the checklist, the setup checklist, to um, access the link. Um, that gets you to mytobydynabox.com and makes um, the parent an account. You want the parent to confirm their email, and if you're logged in, you go to the top right-hand corner where the pencil is, and you go to user, and you'll see I'm logged in um, as myself, but that would be um, blank, and you wouldn't be logged in, so you would log in at that point, and that way um, your stuff is able to be backed up and shared remotely. So once you're in here, you'll see that in the top right hand corner, right under share, there's a little button that says Spanish. And the nice thing is you get to click it and it will, oops, I forgot I'm in editing mode. You click done and now you're out of editing mode and it will switch everything to Spanish. And so this makes it um, a bilingual system, which is really nice. And they try to keep um, similar uh, motor plan positioning, but some words change depending on if they're English or Spanish, but um, because English and Spanish core are different, but they do their best and uh, it is a pretty good bilingual system. But what you want to do now that you have the system set up is adjust the voices. So if you go back to the pencil in the top right hand corner, you want to go to user. And right now, my speaking voice is Emilio in English, but you have different options to scroll through. Some are paid, some are not. We do not are not able to purchase things in app. So what I'm going to do is because my um, test child is Camila and she is a, she wants a female um, child's voice, I'm going to choose Valeria and I'm going to download her voice. And so now I have the option to choose Valeria as my English speaking Spanish voice. So the nice thing is that um, there's also a Valeria Spanish speaking child voice, which is really nice. So now you go back to user. And so if you want um, a language specific voice, you'll see that the option is the last one under voice. And that's the one I'm highlighting right now. You want to click that and that is going to be the voice that um, is used in the Spanish speaking side. Right now Emilio is the voice which is the masculine voice um, but you want to add a voice from another language that is different and so what you're going to do is select the language 
and we're going to go and find There's a ton of choices as you can see, but I am going to go, there it is, Espanol, Mexico. Um, I don't know why I have such a hard time finding that. So now you go to the voice choice and you're going to see that there's a lot of different options and you can see that Valeria has a Spanish um, option, so you want to download that one. And now you can press on Valeria Spanish. Make sure it's the Spanish one and not Valeria English. So go back to new voice and now that should be set up. How you can test that is when you click done, when you're on the English side, you're going to hear um, the Valeria English speaking voice. Go. When you go to Spanish. Vamos. It's going to have a um, Spanish speaking voice. Let me double check. It did sound like it was a different one. And the one I have chosen, so you can always double check language specific voice. I am going to delete Emilio because I think it still was on Emilio, and I'm going to check on Valeria. And when I click done, Valeria. Now you hear it's a more feminine voice, so you see. Sometimes I make that mistake and I just go back and check myself out and see if I selected the right voice. And so now you have Valeria the Spanish speaker on the Spanish side and Valeria the English speaker on the English side and they're both feminine um, children voices for Spanish speakers that are included without an in-app purchase, which is very important um, as an ESD. I hope this helped.